snow tea Friday once again and uh, we got to try uh, Ali Shan by the Ali uh, this is one of the newly opened stores it's actually just a stall we're actually sitting uh, where this the stall of this milk tea place is and uh, I got the uh, milk tea uh, with boba milk tea with boba and I have here with me a very good friend of mine. Hello. This is Joash. Hi. And uh, Joash, what did, what drink did you get? I got uh, what they call S5. It's a milk-based boba dark chocolate drink. Yeah. So it's good. Yes, it's good. But when he first drank it, his face was like, "Whoa, what is this?" Yeah, I thought uh, there was uh, some tea on it that uh, tasted. But in Tagalog, bro. Ah, <laughs> bang Tagalog. Mapakla bro, kala ko kung ano tin di spit ko eh. Yung pala yung dark chocolate. So, mukhang ano siya, healthy. Kasi dark. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I have uh, Josh here with me. And uh, Josh is going to share uh, three things he's passionate about. So, Josh, yeah. take it away. What are three things right. you're passionate about? Three things I am passionate about. Number one, um, going to new places and meeting new people. And I think number two is, kahit di ko makita sa ibang place, but when I sit down with a person, um, I'm really passionate about getting stories of people and you know seeing how they go through life and how they do uh, you know overcome challenges or how they give in to challenges. So uh, stories, um, new places, and um, um, doing things or achieving things with my family and some friends, things that we were never uh, able to do before. So so like what's something you did uh, new with your family that uh, you didn't do before? Um, we, we haven't uh, tried um, going to a country that's so far away. We were able to do that um, during last uh, Every Nation conference. We went to America for the yes! very first time. <laughs> American <laughs> boy. <laughs> So yeah, field trip kami. Field trip, kami to oh, field trip to America. <laughs> also recently, I, I met uh, a friend. Ito din from US, from dito na sa Philippines. I met um, Alan Gonzalez. Very interesting story. Very interesting person. You know, he was. Uh, uh, he's actually a very talented uh, person. He plays the keyboard and sings every Friday. Dito sa promenade, Friday and oh, yeah, Saturday. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and he's blind, but he's so hopeful. He's so positive. In fact, parang normal nga eh. Pas, tas parang mas malayan pa siyang na-accomplish. Yeah. He, he just uh, graduated from ATS oh, with a pastoral yeah. counseling. Okay. Ano, that was he travels abroad, alone. Try new things. Try new things. Uh, meeting new people. Meeting new people. And, and what's your third, bro? I think it's just plain traveling or going the distance. <laughs> Meeting you. Uh, Kalo mo pangat na mong God, bro. As <laughs> you actually, kasi si God in everything, eh. <laughs> God in one, two, yeah. three. Oh, yeah. God in achieving new things. Yeah. yeah. God in meeting new people. Oh, well. And God in accomplishing new things. <laughs> sabi ko na ba? But yeah, oh, actually, kasi oh, yeah. That, I think these three. Whenever I see people and get their story, I see the reflection of the grace of God and His goodness. Diba? Ganun din pagka uh, uh, doing new things. In fact, naalala ko nung college ako, that was prior to the recent uh, uh, Saka ng college bro? Saka ng college? Phoebus College of Bible. Phoebus, all Phoebus. the way in Valenzuela. Valenzuela. Not Pebias, okay? Phoebus. <laughs> <laughs> so, during college, I was part of this um, Student Missionary Fellowship. It's an organization, um, uh, student-wide, uh, where we, uh, every SEM break, we go to provinces, to help churches, uh, help strengthen churches in their evangelism and discipleship and do some mission work. And also we do every year uh, a project we call Christmas for Christ. So we leverage the story of Christmas and the spirit of giving and we ask for people to take part in a project where we could see na deserving tong isang uh, organization or uh, orphanage uh, na recipient yeah. and then the money we get we give to whatever project they have so like the the, the last one we had was uh, we built a classroom uh, sa Rizal and laki nung amount na nirace namin nagulat kami nung na-overshoot pa because there was a person who gave above so nakakatawa parang 
in that also, when when I when we you know as a team lead and mobilize people to do something that's big, bigger than themselves, parang nakikita mo yung grace ni God. Na parang rally cry verse nga namin to, di ba? Yeah. Parang uh, if being saved is by grace through faith, you know, accomplishing great things also is by grace, but worked out in faith. So, yun, you see God too when you accomplish uh, big things that I've done before. That's your theology 101 Sorry. for the day. <laughs> <laughs> yun, yun, but no. yeah. But I'm really proud of this guy, you know, uh, and you can really see that he's passionate about those things, meeting new people, getting to know their stories as a leader. Uh, he's always taking that initiative to lead people uh, on a journey to knowing Christ as well. And so, you, know, you can really see it in his life and even as he leads his family. So, uh, yeah. any last words? Just live from the heart, guys. Yeah, <laughs> live from the heart, guys. Not live here. from the heart. Not here. You heard it from Joash. Yeah, live from the okay. heart. Live it from the heart. Last, Joash, what is your favorite milk tea? Favorite milk tea uh, for me, it's still cocoa. For cocoa. Me. So, yeah. Okay. What from cocoa? What? Uh, panda. Yeah. The panda, the milk, panda tea. milk tea. Panda milk tea. Still the best. We shall review that as well soon. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh. Right. So thank you, brother Joa. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for gracing Milk Tea Friday today. Yeah. All right. Come on. <laughs>